Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, connecting our region to the world through higher education, plus a company here in our region that's making it easier and safer to diagnose brain injuries. But first, Milan Labs deepens its roots in our region with a new corporate center under construction in South Point 2 in Washington County, Pennsylvania. It's the latest sign of Milan's transformation in little more than half a decade into a multi-billion dollar global pharmaceutical manufacturer. Tony Morrow is here today to bring us up to speed. He's president of Milan North America. And welcome. Good to have you. Great to be here, Bill. I appreciate it. Well, it's, it really has for folks who've, who've known, uh, known Mylan for many years. It was, uh, you know, mid-size, pharmaceutical, generic drug maker, one sure. of a few in the United States for seemingly forever, but it's really been dramatic uh, in terms of what's happened in the last couple of years. Yeah, Bill, and I think it's been an exciting thing to be a part of, certainly watching Mylan uh, from when we went global in 2007 to where we've come today really tells that great story of transformation and what we've done here, not just in the Pittsburgh region, but around the world. So it's been a great thing to be a part of, and we've got 20,000 dedicated employees around the world kind of committed to that mission uh, of providing access to 7 billion people in high quality medicine. So it's a, it's a great thing to be a part of, and certainly great uh, for the city of Pittsburgh and the region. Sure, oh, well, and uh, 20,000 employees around the world, so that's a dramatic ramping up uh, through acquisitions in, 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 for the most part, right? Certainly, Bill. I think in 20, uh, 2007 with the acquisition of Matrix in India, and then again in 2007 with our Merck KGA generic uh, asset acquisition, we went from a operating in one country just here in the U.S. to operating in almost 150 countries around the world. So. Uh, we've been growing dramatically since, since 07, and I think uh, we'll continue that growth here throughout the next decade as well. Now, you've been with the company for 18 years, so you were no. there before, before and after. This has to be, no. well, what a cool challenge, number one, to get to respond to that and build an organization that can do it, but, but it, it has to be a challenge to deal with all the cultural issues, organizational issues, everything that goes along with going global. Certainly, Bill, and I think my responsibility in North America primarily, you know, starting uh, with the organization at the beginning of 1996. You know, we were doing sales of about, oh, let's say slightly more than $100 million. And then in 2002, we hit the $1 billion mark for the first time. And then in 2012, you know, hitting $6.8 billion in revenue. It's been just an unbelievable experience. So today we, we market about 1,100 different products through around the world. And in the next five years, we're committed to doubling that. So it took us 52 years to get to, to where we're at today. In the next five, we're going to double that, not just in product offering, but in capacity to produce. You know, today we produce about 50 billion tablets and capsules uh, and transdermal products, et cetera, around the world. And in 2016, we'll be able to do about 85 billion. So we're certainly building, uh, getting ready for that opportunity, and we'll be ready to serve the needs of, of patients, whether it's here in the U.S., in Canada, or throughout the rest of the world. And here, here in our region, your primary areas of, uh, of business are what? The Morgantown area, northern West Virginia, and then as well as Washington County and the Pittsburgh area? It certainly, Bill. The, our, our global center here in Pittsburgh uh, represents not just North America, but, but our entire global leadership team. Uh, we have a large facility in Morgantown, West Virginia that produces about 20 billion uh, doses a year. So hundreds of millions of prescriptions serving uh, U.S. patients are, are manufactured here in our region. And, uh, you know, we've seen continued growth in that business, and uh, we look forward to, to growing it more here in the future. Well, why was going international so important to Milan? Could you have just continued on being sort of just North America or being an American generic drug business? Yeah, w we thought, you know, when we looked at that business in 2007, you know, we could sit here and, and kind of be a part of this, this great enterprise here in the U.S., growing uh, generic prescriptions, the 80% plus of all the prescriptions dispensed right now. So eight out of 10 prescriptions dispensed in the U.S. are from a generic pharmaceutical company. And one out of 11 of those uh, total are from Mylan. So, so not a bad market by itself. Not, certainly right? not yeah. a bad market, still a very good market to be in, still a lot of opportunity to provide access for patients and set new standards of healthcare here. But more importantly, I think we recognize the, the opportunity that scale brings and that when you look around the world, the, the affordability that generic products offer weren't really being maximized. And uh, whether it was in Europe, the emerging markets, uh, the Far East, 
there was a great uh, opportunity and possibility to really do what we did here in the U.S. to even greater level uh, worldwide. So that's what we did with both the Matrix acquisition and the Merck KGA generic acquisition of those generic assets. So um, over the last six years, we've been continuing to uh, integrate and welcome those employees and expand those businesses around the world. Are you bringing a lot of people into our region, especially here in the Pittsburgh area, for the headquarters operation and the corporate support? Yeah, I think if you look at where we are today, we have approximately 400 employees in the South Point area and another 3,000 in Morgantown, so 3,400 employees throughout our region. Uh, and I would tell you, Bill, over the next few years, we will grow that by several hundred people. I mean, there's going to be continued growth in our business, continued expansion, not just here in the region, but throughout the world. So to do that, we need world-class people. Milan's always been about the people, uh, the people that we have as current employees, the, the dedication, the passion, the integrity, and just the absolute unconventional focus to what the things that we care about doing are. And that's always about not just manufacturing products and growing sales, but that mission to set new standards in healthcare, that mission to really provide access to seven billion people to these high quality products we make. Yeah, you talk about you know, manufacture here, you have a headquarters operation here, so the kind of skill sets you need are really across the board, right, uh, in terms of the people you'll be hiring in the years to come? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's going to be about marketing, it's going to be about selling, it's going to be about manufacturing. It's going to be a broad set of, uh, of skills and uh, attributes that we need, and most importantly, it's about the right attitude mm -hmm. and the right focus on what we're trying to do if, to, to accomplish that mission. So, really, uh, I think multidimensional, but at the same time, the capabilities to transform uh, an industry and a, and a business even to a greater level than it's at today. About a minute left, but you got to tell me about the new headquarters. So this is yeah. big. This is built for Milan, right? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I think our current uh, global center here in South Point is about 90,000 square foot. Uh, the one that should be ready here in the coming, well, let's say, months or so, should be about 280,000 square feet. Wow. So we're talking about tripling the space, but maybe more importantly, what the facility is going to be like. It's going to be an innovative workspace. We want to recruit the best, so it's going to be an open concept where collaboration, technology are used to maximize our business and to ensure that we're communicating, connecting with all our employees around the world, whether it's in North America, Pittsburgh, Morgantown, or across the globe. Uh, that facility will be uh, you know, the point of contact for our global leadership team as well as our North American leadership team. So wow. it's exciting times. Well, really exciting. So there must be a pretty good business case to be doing your kind of business here in our region. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the Pittsburgh area, the Morgantown area in general have been a huge, uh, you know, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to grow and attract great talent. And you know whether you're looking at Milan.com and looking at the opportunities that might be available for viewers in our area, you know we are going to continue to grow this business, and the Pittsburgh area plays a huge role in that. All right. Well, it's an exciting story. Great to see. Looking forward to hopefully getting a tour of the new headquarters. Anytime. <laughs> Let us know. Thank you, Tony Morrow from Milan. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Bill. And next up, a breakthrough technology that's making it easier and safer to diagnose brain injuries. Stay with us.